Welcome to the dark stream. I'm Vox Day, voxday.blogspot.com, and Infogalactic News. How are you doing tonight? I'm uh, I'm thinking about the this whole uh, H1B thing. You know, there's been a discussion on the blog, and I have to admit that although I know uh, it's bad in principle, and although I know that uh, there are some real problems and issues relating to H-1B visas, um, I didn't really know how much it had directly affected people and, and just how bad it was. You know, um, I've been on the outside for you know nearly 20 years now. Um, I work with people in the American tech industry, but I'm not part of it anymore. You know, I'm I'm outside of it. Um, you know, I'm I'm a contractor and so forth. Um, and so, you know, but I have noticed, I have seen a little bit of um, some of the the connection with, especially with Indian programmers. Um, I did one job once with a Indian programming team and I have to say it was a complete disaster. Um, they were almost totally unable to do a, a very simple uh, match three puzzle game. Um, what they turned in was uh, graphically inept, um, totally amateurish. Um, you know, it took much longer to implement very, very simple um, concepts, and so it, it. I mean, it was it was really it was really crazy. You know, I I never once took another look at working with an Indian company. Um, I did once try, uh, I did once look into uh, getting art from China. Um, I met them at a game show, and a game development show. And, you know, they had some great art, and, and the prices were pretty good. And so I thought, well, you know, I mean, they weren't dirt cheap, but they were, they were good. Um, and it was kind of crazy because they just literally never even got back to me. Um, it, was, it, was very, um, it was very unprofessional. And so, um, you know, since then, uh, I've chosen to work instead, wherever possible, with volunteers who are either new to the industry or have been sort of working on the periphery of the industry, because for the most part, I found them to be uh, vastly, vastly superior. And, and a number of them are Eastern, some of them are Eastern European, other Western European. Um, Yes, I think coding boot camps are pretty much a scam. Um, you know, it, it's uh, it, it's a big mistake to think that you're going to get out of get, that you're going to get work out of uh, Indian programmers that you can get out of American programmers or European programmers. You're just not going to flat out. Um, and you know, I w I was vaguely aware, vaguely aware that there is a bit of an issue with um, Indian tribalism. You know, I, I did notice that, see the thing is, is that I was a little bit blind to it initially because when I was younger, when I was in high school and college, we had a amazing Indian programmer. I mean, extremely, extremely high intelligence. Um, and really not at all dialed in to the what you call the Indian community. You know, he had, he'd married a a, uh, a white American woman. Um, he he did have a interesting <laughs> some interesting dietary preferences, but you know, um, you know he was like the, the guy who put together the, the volleyball team at the at, at, at the, the corporate volleyball team and, and whatnot. Um, you know, not at all what you would 
tend to think of as an Indian. And so um, I was under the impression that, you know, that that was kind of what the situation was because you know, he didn't, he never brought any other Indians in. He was just a, he was just a great programmer. But what I didn't realize is that this guy was, this guy was definitely um, a lone wolf, which is not uh, terribly common in that community. And so what, what I've, but what I've seen is, is what a lot of these sense is what a lot of these people have talked about. You know, for example, at Microsoft, um, now that there's an Indian in charge, he's been bringing in more and more Indians. Well, that's what they do. You know, that's what, um, you know, that is, is generally, uh, what you see, uh, identity groups do, you know, so if you, um, you know, it's the same way I was, I remember, uh, kind of cracking up. There was some, uh, some big tech company, they were busy, um, saluting themselves for having put a woman on the board. She was the first woman on the board. And what was amusing was what she was saying was the first priority of the company should be to put more women on the board. You know, I mean, that's an interesting perspective on that. You know, um, it doesn't even have anything to do with the success of the company. It's not even relevant to the success of the company. You know, just like the SJWs, um, I call it identity uh, corporate corporatism or something but um, you know it, it's it, it's all it's all about identity for them you know women want to have more women working next to them Indians want to have more Indians work next to them none of them give a damn none of them give a damn about how the their their projects work how how it benefits the company it, it it makes no difference. And so, um, you know, but, but the thing is, is that um, too many of us make no effort to stop this. Okay. How many of you, um, like here, here we are on Periscope and many of you are on Twitter. How many of you are also on Gap? You know, we're working, uh, you know, we're working to, to create something better. We're creating to, to do something else. Now, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm, you know, here I am on Periscope, but I am also on Gab TV. I will be doing more and more stuff on Gab TV. You know, we want to, because I want to support that stuff. You know, um, I, I use Brave as preference. Yeah, and, and no, I'm not saying that you, you, but see, here's the thing is we can compete with the scale eventually. The scale is not everything. And so, because event, you know, you know, people never would have got on Facebook because MySpace had scale, right? Now, granted, there is an advantage that the, that big tech has, which is basically that they're being propped up by, um, they're being propped up by the banks, you know? Um, I, I was reading that Uber is worth 70 billion, despite the fact that they just lost 2 billion and they, uh, have never made a profit. Okay. So they're being propped up. Um, the, yeah. And, and I understand that, you know, um, there are certain features that people need and, 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 and that's, that's, um, you know, Reddit, like you said, Reddit's prime for a, a dig like Exodus. It is, and that's why we're adding a Reddit style capacity to Infogalactic that's going to be going active um, reasonably soon. But, but the, the <laughs> that's funny, thank you. Um, but, but the thing that's key is, is, for, is for people to support it, even if it's not ready yet. Okay? Um, it's very, it's very important. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's very important that, that we continue to support these things, even though they're not ready. Um, software development is not necessarily extremely expensive. Um, 
but it takes time. You know, uh, you know, Gab has done a tremendous amount with a fairly, fairly small amount of resources. Infogalactic's uh, tech stars have done an amazing job with a you know, absolute shoestring. You know, um, the I mean, at least one of them is on here tonight. I know um, they're fantastic. They do, they do great work, and they do it, uh, and then they do it as volunteers from all over the world because it's important and because they believe it's important. And so, um, but the thing is, is that it's not going to be, you know, for example, when we launched Infogalactic in October, it was much slower than it is now. We didn't have the news. We didn't have the caching that, that provides great performance. Now there's still things that are missing. You, know, you can still look at it, you know, right now, we still don't have anywhere nearly enough editors. We need a lot more people just going on and editing, you know, doing the little articles and stuff that, you know, 10,000 people do on Wikipedia. Um, so we're missing that. We need that kind of support. Um, we all, we're also have some features that we need to add. And then of course we, we've got all the, all of our really fancy features that are, that are going to add. So all that stuff, all that stuff takes time. You know, it wouldn't matter if we had 20 people come in and say, Hey, we want to help. That probably wouldn't help because you have to direct those efforts. You know, we already have in some ways more volunteers than we can effectively use because most volunteers are not really capable of taking things and running with them on their own. They need help. They need direction. And so, um, and it, it's absolutely true. Small teams of multi-talented, motivated people massively outperform, you know, expensive, large teams that just, you know, they're, they're more concerned about diversity than anything else. Um, and so that's, that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to do. And that's why we're going to win eventually, you know, we are disrupting Wikipedia. We are going to replace Wikipedia. In 10 years, no one's going to be using Wikipedia. It's going to be the MySpace to Infogalactic's Facebook. You know, and by then we'll have probably started disrupting other big tech projects. So will Gab. Um, you know, but, but there's, there's, there's so many things that need to be done. And, you know, people don't always do things in the right or order. I mean, for example, you know, I think if, if I were Andrew Torba and I were running Gab, I would spend a lot more time focusing on getting the uh, JPEGs right so that people could start memeing. That's what people actually want to do. And that's a much easier project than Gab TV, you know. But, but you know, you got to keep in mind is that those of us who are driving these projects, number one, you know, we're not perfect. And number two, we have our own idiosyncrasies. You know, um, I think Gab has wasted way too much time on Apple and iOS, probably because uh, I would sus imagine that Andrew's probably an iOS user. He probably has an iPhone. And so, you know, instead of just going, okay, let's get this Android thing straight, let's get it out and get moving. You know they, they bang they bang their heads against the the Apple wall for a couple you know, for two months. It's not a big deal though. You know, um, you know we've been we've been banging our heads against one of our uh, one of our um, storage situations. You know we're trying to we're trying to work with some uh, a different more efficient storage option, and I think it's been what it's probably been. Uh, six weeks since I was first told that we would have it working the next week because we keep running into unanticipated problems and that happens. That's nor that's, that's totally normal. And so, um, but the thing is, is that, that you, you know, people need to, people need to be patient. No, the, no, the storage companies are not, are not sandbagging us. Um, we are basically, this is just, um, <laughs> It's not your fault. This is just, it's what it is. You know, um, 
I've been doing software development for something like 29, 30 years now. Um, you know, sometimes it takes longer than you believe humanly possible. That's normal. Um, you know, and, and then sometimes you kick yourself going, why did we waste our time banging our heads against it that long? Because we thought for, you know, for eight weeks, we thought we were going to have it tomorrow. And so, um, again, that's normal. So what, what I'm saying is, is um, there's going to be these, these frustrating lulls where you don't see anything. No, we don't need a way to influence Apple. There is no way to influence Apple. That's what you guys need to understand. Stop using it. Stop supporting it. That is your only element of influence. They don't give a damn about you, and they don't give a damn about anything but pushing their SJW vision. Okay? That is their focus. And so, all this, you are not going to rescue an SJW Converge corporation from being SJW Converged. So, you know, that, that's just, you have to accept that. You know, I mean, I understand there's this whole, you know, process of grief and denial and all that sort of thing, but that's the way it is. Get, you have to get over it. And, you know, I'm aware of the irony. I am talking to you right now on an iPad mini. But it's not, but here's the thing, it's not about changing your tech life for Gab. <coughs> it's about what level of SJW control are you willing to accept. Yes, sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes you have to make accommodations. You know, I'm using Periscope and an iPad mini right now simply because it works and I can use this to reach those of you who are on Periscope. Okay, um, you, you know, but 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 the more the, the thing is, all you're doing is digging yourself in deeper and embedding yourself. I'm not saying change your tech life today or tomorrow. I'm saying begin consciously understanding your situation and begin finding a path to work your way out. That's all, and and you know, I am every bit as guilty of, of this sort of thing as anybody else. You know, I mean, I will say that I did not want to buy this iPad mini. Um, I had to buy it because the, the game project that I was consulting on required it. Okay. You know, you have, there are certain things you have to do and that's fine. But when I am making my own choices, for example, with Infogalactic, we're going to do an Android app first. We're not worrying about an iOS app. Maybe they'll permit it on Apple. Maybe they won't. I don't really care. Uh, you know, if we can, if we get on there, if we don't get on there, you know, at, at a certain point, we're going to get big enough that Apple will just go ahead and accept it. Um, and yes, it is key that we build a free platform alternative. You know, Android was supposed to be that, but, um, and so, uh, obviously it isn't because, you know, Google acquired them and so forth. But, you know, we will have to, we will get to that point eventually. You know, it, it's, it's going to take time, but we'll get to that point eventually. You know, the alt tech is new. Alt tech is very young. Alt tech has you know, small numbers and a very small amount of resources now, but it is going to grow and it is going to become big and popular and it is going to start replacing those things. No, but see, what's different is alt tech is not going to sell out. We've already had the opportunity to. Gab's already had the opportunity to. We have intentionally avoided doing that because we have no interest in in becoming what we were designed to replace. So um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that most, I think the majority of alt tech companies that are going to matter in seven years have not been founded yet. How is it presented? You just don't sell. 
you just don't sell. And so, um, you know, I mean, and, and, and there's a lot of weak points, you know, um, PayPal is a weak point. Um, banks are potentially a weak point. Um, storage is potentially a weak point. All of those things are, you know, uh, ISPs are potentially a weak point. But you can plan around all those things. You know, at Infogalactic, you know, we're basically planning, if necessary, to do absolutely everything ourselves, short of actually digging cables. Because we believe that that's going to be, in the long term, necessary. You know, maybe, I mean, if it turns out to not be necessary, if it means, if, you know, if we're able to successfully partner with, you know, Amazon or um, other, other things like that, you know, then, um, you know, then that'd be great. Then we don't have to do as much work. But the point is, is that we're mentally prepared for that. And so, um, and, and again, you know, the main reason that we're able to avoid doing that is because of those of you in the burn unit. And in the case of Gab, those of you who are the Gab donators, you know, you guys are the ones who are making it possible. And that's why I, I stress time and time again, hey, if you want to do something, if you want to make a difference, join the Infogalactic Burn Unit. Join, you know, 10 bucks a month. It's not that much, and you're making things happen. Uh, yeah, buying, buying crypto fashion definitely helps. You know, we, we've, we have, um, in, in, we've intentionally, um, awesome. <laughs> it is a pretty great shirt, isn't it? My wife actually wants one. Um, will Burn Unit support new Reddit alternative? Absolutely. Um, you know, we're, we're, I don't think we're going to do, it's just going to be part of the whole thing. We're not, we're not going to, you know, split it up separately. Um, and obviously, if we have any sort of like pro level stuff, um, then um, if we have any pro level stuff, then the Burn Unit folks are going to get, you know, what if, if there's pro stuff or whatever, you know, those guys will always, always get it. Um, awesome. The rabbit puppies, did you, when you said you got the rabbit puppy shirt, was it the old one or the new one? The, the red and yellow or the blue and white? Um, yes, I believe CryptoFash, well, they must. Um, at least they shipped to Europe, I can testify to that. Um, oh, the new blue one, okay, right. Yeah, those, those I think are, are being made right now because I don't have one yet either. Um, I will definitely be wearing it. <laughs> I will definitely be wearing the new rabbit puppies as soon as they come, come in. What kind of response did you get from uh, wearing the burn unit to work? Did anybody ask you about it? The, um, I mean, I, I sometimes get, uh, I, I certainly get responses, um, even just from the, the, the regular infogalactic one. Um, well, as long as, you know, being cool is good. Um, yeah, so anyhow, the, the thing is, is that um, alt tech is in its infancy. We are current, what you've seen so far is just, it's, it's not even crawling. You know, we're, we're like a, we're like a little kid lying on the, lying on the floor, kind of humping along <laughs> with, with the one arm. Um, and yet, Look at what's look at what's happening. Look at what we're already able to do. I mean, the fact that we're going to have this Reddit stuff operating soon. Um, on the one hand, it's exciting to me that it's possible. On the other hand, I have no idea what we're doing with it. You know, I think I've been on Reddit like six times. You know, um, and so you know, it's uh, it, it it's. Alt tech will be profitable eventually, um, but the volunteer efforts are what lays the sound foundation. You know, and and, and yeah, and, and that's a good point. You know, the, the thing is, even if you even if you can't join the burn unit, even if you can't um, support it financially, there's so many other ways you can. I mean, just you know, tell your friends about Infogalactic. Um, you know. 
do, you know, do a, a gab post. Well, even if you're mostly on Twitter, do a couple gab posts a day. You know, Space Bunny, my wife, um, she does both. You know, she's on Twitter, and then she's also, uh, you know, always make sure that she's active and on gab. All those things help. All those things matter. You know, it, the, there's that old Chinese proverb, you know, the, the journey of a thousand leagues begins with a single step. Well, we're on about step four. And so um, it, it's, it, it's, uh, no, I, I mean, there, there are plenty of people who, who would find it difficult to, to spend 10 bucks a month. You know, I'm, I, don't, I don't want anybody who can't afford to, to do it to, to get involved with it. You know, we're doing okay. You know, we're doing okay. Um, we would like to be doing better and we will do better. But we also have to deserve it. We have to merit it. And so I think, um, you know, we are, we're working very hard at making it better. You know, for example, I just talked today to the guy who is going to head up um, Infogalactic News Francais. Um, I've also talked to the guy who is potentially interested in heading up Infogalactic News Deutsch. Um, we're going to find uh, uh, we're going to find people to do infogalactic news uh, tech. Um, I don't know if we'll bother doing sport or games because I, I don't know that there's really enough stuff um, every day. Uh, yeah, of course it's possible to just pay once. Um, just uh, if you do that, um, you, you can just do a, a, a regular donation, you know, and that'll work. Um, the, make sure you put, but if you do that, make sure that you put burn unit in the, com in, in the comment so that I'll know. You know, so that we'll know that, that you want to join the burn unit, you're just doing, you just prefer to do a one time blah blah blah, that, that works. Um, because you know, the burn unit stuff is, is usually how we track the, the subscriptions. I mean, obviously we love donations, there have been some people have done extremely generous donations that we really appreciate. But the, the, the advantage of the burn unit is that then we, have an, uh, we can make plans. We can, anticipate, um, we can anticipate what sort of resources we're going to have in two months, in three months, and so forth, and plan accordingly. Um, if, you for, if you did a one-off like that and you forgot, just email me. You know? um, it, it, it's not a problem. You know, we're, we're, not, uh, yeah, we're not... We're not like... We're not trying to like say you must do this, you must you must help us in this particular way, or we don't want you know we don't want you to. It's it's not that way at all. It's just that um, you know we want to we want to make sure that um, everything that we do, you know everything that we plan, we're very very conservative, and so um, we don't ever want to find ourselves in a position where suddenly we're running around with you know. You know, please help us keep the lights on. We don't want to. We don't want that situation at all. And so, um, but yeah, you know, I mean, don't think that this is is negative in any way. I, I want you to come away from this feeling optimistic, and and understanding that that these things are happening. That you guys are making these things happen. You, you know, your support is making these things happen, and they are. You know, a year ago. Infogalactic did not exist. The year ago gap did not exist. Imagine what it's going to be like in a year. Imagine how many more people are going to be using it. Imagine the new features. And you know, we're going to be over, we're going to, the burning is going to be a thousand strong next year. And so um, we're going to have, you know, we're going to be working on Don't Panic and getting out, you know, getting out the whole new engine and that's going to open up whole new opportunities. And so, you know, this is a very exciting time for all of us. And so, um, you know, enjoy it. That's all I've got for tonight. Um, stop by tomorrow when you get a chance, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you then. Have a good evening. Stop by Infogalactic News and uh, voxdata.blogspot.com. Thanks.